When you're solving systems of equations, you might run into a couple of special cases that I'm going to go over quickly for you. One, let's review really quick. The equation for a vertical line is always x equals some number, and the equation for a horizontal line is always y equals some number. Now, you need to have that memorized. So, let's take a look at this system that I want you to solve. It's uh, x plus 4 equals 0 and y minus 2 equals 0. Well, the very first thing I have to do is um, get my variables by themselves. So, on this one, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, and I'm going to get x equals negative 4. Well, since I don't have a y, I know that this is some sort of a vertical line. And then my other one is y minus 2 equals 0. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides, get my variable by itself, and I'm going to get y equals 2. Since there is no x, I know this is going to be a horizontal line. So let's go ahead and graph these two lines. x equals negative 4. So I'm going to go over to negative 4 on my x-axis put a big point and I know it's a vertical line so I'm going to draw a line right there. Not a great line but it'll do. And then y equals 2 is a horizontal line so I'm going to go over up to 2 on my y-axis and I'm going to put a point and I know that this is a horizontal line so I'm going to draw a horizontal line right there. See if I can do this little one a bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to figure out where these two intersect. Looks like they intersect right here at negative 4 and 2. And that makes sense because my x value is negative 4 and my y value is positive 2. Alright, so that's one case that you might run up against when you're doing your homework. Um, <clears throat> now remember, a linear system is two lines and when they intersect, that place where they intersect is the solution. But what happens if when you graph them, the lines do not intersect? That would mean that the lines are parallel, which means also that because we know that all parallel lines have the same slope and therefore they will never intersect so there is no solution. Now every once in a while you will solve a system and when you solve for y, you're going to have the exact same equation, which means that the lines are exactly the same. And in this case, that would mean that the lines have the same equation, they have the same slope and the same intercept, the same y-intercept. And if that's the case, then there are infinitely many solutions, no matter what x and y you put into both of the equations, you're going to get the same answer. All right. So these are the special cases. I'm going to go through one problem of each of these for you. All right, solve the system, the linear system by graphing. Uh, so the, of course the very first thing that we're going to have to do is rewrite these systems. So first I'm going to rewrite um, 6y plus 12x equals 24. And I know I've got to get rid of my x term, so I'm going to do that first by subtracting 12x from both sides. And when I do that, I get um, 6y on the left and negative 12x plus 24 on the right. Then I know I have to get rid of my 6 by dividing. And if I divide one side by 6, I've got to divide everything on the other side by 6. That gives me y equals negative 2x plus 4. Alright, now I can see that my y-intercept 
is 0, 4, and my slope is negative 2 over 1. That negative a little better. Okay, so now let's look at my next equation. Do it in purple. And, okay, and on this one, same thing. I know I've got to get rid of my x term first, so I'm going to subtract 10x from both sides. And that's going to give me um, 5y on the left, negative 10x plus 30. Because I can't add those two, they are not like terms. Then I'm going to get rid of my 5 by dividing everything by 5. That gives me y on the left, negative 2x plus 6. Now, on this one, I can see that my y-intercept is 0, 6, and my slope is negative 2 over 1. Well, heads up, negative 2 over 1 is my slope here as well. So I know these two are going to be parallel. So I'm going to go ahead and graph this, but I know already that this is a no solution because I have the same slope and different y-intercepts. And as you can see, when I graph them, they are parallel line. They will never cross, so it is no solution. All right, so make sure that you have written this down in your notes because your teacher is going to ask to see it. All right, now let's look at solving this system. y equals 2x plus 4 and 12y minus 24x equals 48. Well, again, the very first thing that we must do is solve each equation for y. So um, the first one is already solved for y. And so we can say our y-intercept on this one is 0, 4, and our slope is 2 over 1. So we only have to rewrite this one, which is kind of nice. So we have 12y minus 24x equals 48. All right, well, I know I'm going to have to add 24x to both sides. That's going to give me 12y on the left equals 24x plus 48. Now I have to get rid of my 12, so I'm going to divide everything by 12. And I'm going to get it y equals 2x plus 4. Oh, well, now my y-intercept here is 0, 4, and my slope is 2 over 1 and heads up. As soon as I do that I can compare these and say not only is my slope the same but my y-intercept is the same. This is the same stinking line. So that means there would be infinitely many see if I can spell this correctly in... oh I didn't already sorry so there you go, infinitely many solutions, because if I graph either one of them, I'm going to get the same line, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. It's going to be the same line. All right, so you might run into either one of these cases. Please make sure you write this one down in your notes, because your teacher is going to ask you about it. And um, I think that you're completely covered to finish all of your homework in Concept 38.